Hello, it's Kaylee. Girls, today I'm gonna show you how to get this full coverage foundation look plus an ombre look on your eyes. So if you wanna see the full look, keep watching. Silk Girls, the best primer in the entire world. Not only does it prime for your makeup, but it, oh, I gotta quit picking that. I gotta remember to cover that. It actually is like a treatment for your pores to make them smaller. So you wanna dab it in and then you let it dry. So I did dark eye treatment. Y'all, I've just been noticing I'm getting a little and I'm sure it's just cause I'm tired. Brecklin's not letting me sleep. I've never used it before. Um, but I wanna catch them before they get bad and fix them. So I've been using it. This will be week three, I believe. I just don't want to let them get bad. And then eye illuminator, which is light is so bright pearlizer plus eye cream so when you conceal under your eyes for one it has skincare in it um, but two if you're concealing under your eyes you want to make sure which our products are super creamy but if you're using anything you want to make sure your eyes are really moisturized moisturized under there or you're gonna get those creases so you can totally mix in your like a concealer, like a medium concealer or light, depending on your color. I would do medium uh, for my skin, but you can mix that in your foundation to make more full coverage. You can also take the natural powder and mix it in your foundation. What I prefer is to put color correcting moisturizer on because it's like a two for one three for one, I guess, if you're doing full coverage. So it's got your moisture in it. So you don't have to use a daily moisturizer. Plus it color corrects, so you really don't have to conceal. I'm gonna conceal under my eyes more for brightening, not really like concealing. And then um, it gives you another layer of that coverage when you're wanting full coverage. So this is the way I like to do it. I also don't have to worry about my mixing skills. So I'm gonna do color correcting all over and then I'm gonna go back with foundation. Also, I'm using a stifling, or a, it's a Kapuki brush, it's a F80 by Sigma, but I am stifling so I'm patting it, which gives you more coverage versus blending. It's flat and it's really, really dense, okay? So if you buy a cheaper version of this, it's just not gonna last you long. Um, these have a two year warranty and I went ahead and bought it. Um. Since it's a brush, I'm gonna use every single day. And now I'm gonna take, I'm in between colors right now. So I'm taking the anti-aging foundation. I like the anti-aging one because I'm 30. So I'm getting older. Um, versus, now when I was oily, when my skin was oily, I didn't use the anti-aging because it is a little more dewy. So if you're younger, and you are still fighting that oil, um, until we can get you on a good skincare routine, then you'll be like me and your oil will be gone and your acne will be gone. It'll be wonderful. But um, I did just use the regular Make Sense back then because of the oil on my face. But now that I've been using it all for four years, I think I switched, oh, two years ago to the anti aging. So I like the anti aging because it has a Cineplex in it. So it's got skincare in it and then it's got what. Um, the Make Sense also has skincare, but it does not have, I do this every time I forget what it's called, CineShield. CineShield is what keeps the crap from the environment literally off your face, which is why it's so important to wash your face at night, whether you're wearing makeup or not. It's to get the stuff from the nasty environment we live in off your face. So, the anti-aging has that, which is why I like it. Now, it is a little lighter coverage, I think, because it has more of a dewy finish than the regular foundation, which is a little more flat. So that is just gonna be your preference on what you like. It doesn't make you shiny by any means, because I don't like that look. So we're not going for that, I promise. But it is $10 more too. So color correcting is 45, regular is 50. 
and anti-aging is 60 since it has more in it so but it lasts forever let me look at mine I'm gonna turn the lights off so you girls can see how good and I did not do it under my eyes because we're gonna conceal I used to use this color I can't pronounce it it's darker and then I became lighter and we had a broken porcelain which is really white so I said, heck, I'll just mix them together. So that's what I did. I did half a pump of each. So full pump of color correcting and then a half a pump of each of these mixed together. Gives you full coverage. And then I'm going to go throw stuff, do my concealer and all that fun stuff. And I will top it with the natural powder. You do not have to set our foundations. You don't have to. Okay, if you don't want to, it's totally not necessary. It's an extra step. If you're oily, you should um, set any of your foundations. But you, know, you can see my circles just a little bit. Okay, so remember, I didn't put foundation there because you don't want to get too much makeup. So I'm going to take Candlelight. What are you doing? Hey, don't throw stuff at me. Candlelight, if this camera would focus. There we go. Y'all, this is what you're gonna use if you want a base um, on your eyes, even if you were using like, say you had a favorite shadow you wanted to use that was powder, this would be great to use first. It has a peach tone to it. So the peach is really good for someone like me who just has a little bit of dark circle. And so I'm not putting this all over my eyes, y'all. I'm just putting it where the dark circle is. We're gonna use white concealer. Totally white, y'all. Under the eyes to brighten them up. So put my full foundation on and then we're gonna conceal and brighten the eyes. Then we'll do a little contour, a little bronzing. So you wanna be careful, you don't wanna like start with it really far under your eyes, cause that's where your fine lines are if you have them, like most of us do. So you wanna start at the bottom like I did, and then you kinda push it up towards there so you don't get that product right there in your crease. Garnet, that's what I first used to use, okay? It's got red in it, which my hair had quite a bit of red. Now I've been using the Rustic Brown well, then I decided my hair needs done, and so it's like kind of mousy looking. So I decided it needed some Mocha Java, which is the color a lot of the blonde girls use. See that? So what I like for mine right now is a mixture of Mocha Java and Rustic Brown. So I'm just taking them, you can see it right here, and I'm mixing them together. And then I'm gonna start out here. candlelight all over my eyes and let it set while I do my blush. And so I just have this big brush. Um, this is Real Techniques and I love this brush. It's like a domey too. This is what I use for the candlelight under my eyes. For my conceal slash bronzer, I've really been liking mixing Onyx, which is black shadow scents. So you can see it is straight black. So I'm putting it on the top. 
Your contour is supposed to be like a shadow. So we're going to contour slash bronze all in one. You can use the shadow senses. A lot of girls use that mocha java I showed you. It's not quite dark enough for me. I like to use my darker foundation that I showed you all ago. So if my skin was darker, this wouldn't work. But because I'm lighter right now, this works really good. So I put the foundation. The other cool thing is because this is a foundation on top of another foundation, it really blends nicely, it blends super easy. But I want it to look like a shadow. So I'll show you. Just mixing it on the top of these. So it's more like a gray, which looks just like the shadow that's actually hitting my face right now. That's funny, that's what we wanna create, that right there. That's happening from the light, that's really funny. Found this brush I really like. Um, this one's Real Techniques too. It's flat, I don't like it for blending it, but if I tap a little on, it really sets it right where I want it. So I love it. And I do one side at a time to make sure I get it blended good. And when you're doing this, you want to keep blending and go back. Don't pull your contour to the front of your face. You don't want it up here. It's okay if you bronze like this, like kind of where my freckle is, you would bronze to that. And so I'll go up there a little, but you do not want to bronze out here on your cheeks. That's when you get looking muddy. Okay, now you can see how I created the shadow, which makes that side of my face look so much skinnier. That's funny. But if okay, I don't like to dip for more product on my nose, but I do like to use this brush. Make my nose just a little skinnier. And blend it in. Let me show you. So I really like this pink posy. This is a shadow sense. Basically, you can use shadow sense for like everything. I used this on Saturday for my blush and then I used it all over my eyelids for a um, natural easy look. Today, we're gonna use it for blush. It is really pigmented, so I, I like to put it on here so I don't get too much on my face. And I'm gonna use a bigger brush. So my contour, I wanted to keep it one spot so we're using smaller Real Techniques. And that was actually called a contour brush. And this bigger one is called a buffing brush. I think I got these at TJ Maxx. And so I'm gonna dab it on there. I just wanna make sure I even like randomly go around here because I wanna start small. You can see the difference. The blush is up here, the contour is here. So then I am gonna take that contour brush, blend it just a little, just so we don't have like a distinct line. But I don't want my blush all the way down there. There we go. I love our natural powder. I need to get the other powder things to stick them in because I hate these. Um, so I just take the lid off. This is an old TJ Maxx brush. It's just really fluffy. And I just put it on the sponge to put all over my face. Pearlizer is also an anti-aging foundation, y'all. There we go. But it's the JLo Glow. So some girls mix it in to all of their makeup. I don't like that look everywhere. I just like it on my cheekbones. And I love it here, I'm not gonna lie. I've been using it like crazy. The
big sandstone pearl, which I'm gonna show you it compared to candlelight. You really do want both of these in your bag because they're different. Your candlelight is way more peachy. It's gonna be like more for coverage, not for your actual um, color you wanna show. This one's more shimmery. And yeah, if you were doing a matte look, you could totally do candlelight if you wanted no shimmer. So I'm gonna take a little off the wand. This is a really small flat brush. And we're gonna put this right under the eyebrows. And we're not gonna go down very far. So this is just gonna be that pretty shimmer so when people look at you, it glows right here. You don't have to go to the tip of your eyebrow. You definitely don't go past your eyebrow, but you really just need to do wherever your arch is. I also really like to do it right here to brighten my eyes. A lot of girls are going under and I'm gonna do a little today and see if it freaks me out. I don't like eyeshadow under my eyes, but it looks really good on everybody, so I'm gonna try it. So this brush is pretty flat, really dense, and it's more for setting it there, because we're not really blending it. The three most basic eyeshadow colors that most people own or should own are going to be Sandstone Pearl, which is what we just used, Mocha Java, which you're gonna use for your highlighter, or eyebrows, or your eyeshadow. It's a very good everyday eyeshadow. And then I would say choose your favorite between Garnet and Rustic Brown. One's a little more brown, one's a little more red. I am gonna go with Rustic Brown today. So, these are your three basics that you can do all kinds of stuff with. Even if you don't get candlelight, you can take this sandstone pearl and use it under your eyes. So, instead of white concealing and candlelight, you could just do this. It's not as drastic, but it still um, does what it's supposed to do. The whole point of highlighting your eyes and covering your under eyes. Same concept. And then these, of course, for your eyebrows too. Um, these two are really good alone on your eyes. And then mixing the three together is what we're going to do today. It's an E25 Sigma, so it's got the two-year warranty. I am obsessed with this thing. Really pigmented, so I'm going to work off this. I'm just going to do a little, and I'm trying to remember. Huh? Now I remember. Okay, so you do to your lid. You do like, not where you did the sandstone pearl way over here, but then and over. It's like the middle. If you accidentally go too far over here, it's no big deal because you're going to um, put that darker color. So this is mainly like the middle of your lids. And then I'm gonna take a brush. This has some old sandstone pearl. It really isn't how much, just for my blending up here. Cause I accidentally just let my brush set. I don't remember what I was doing, but I looked up and I had just set product there without blending it. So I'm gonna do the rustic brown. I'm gonna put a little there, DJ Maxx one too, but it blends really well on the outside. So you can just do like circle motions. You don't wanna to go too far. This way, because that's, or down, because it's gonna make your eye look shut. And the whole point of this look the ombre look where it's dark on the outside to make your eye look bigger. Oh yeah, girl. This is what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna do it on my brush because I don't wanna get too much because I've already got most of what I want on there. Ah, I just wanna darken it just a tiny bit.
Okay, girls, it's not a big deal. I'm going to take mocha java. I told you all this is my first time doing this. And we're going to blend this out a little. Which is the medium color. And then we'll just take the lighter color. Sandstone pearl. And we're going to fix it. A little fluffier. The brush I used earlier didn't blend as well with sandstone because I was setting it. Since I screwed up, I need a blending one. So I cleaned it real fast so I can blend. Because you want it to look lighter out here. Or in here, I mean. There we go. There's the ombre look we were dreaming of. Then I'm gonna take this big fluffy one to blend the top, because I feel like I got it a little too high. There we go, much better. Ooh, see, we fixed it. No need to freak out, no need to freak out. Now I'm going to take my foundation brush and clean up because you want it to go up. Which honestly, on your camera, there, you can see, it was not that bad. On camera, it looked terrible. And then there is a little spot right here I want to blend this. Much better. I used to take a Q-tip and clean this up and then I learned from a video to do this so then you don't have to go back and put more makeup on. Yeah. I do like all over, but not like on a ombre look. Probably because I always have screwed up. And then I have to go back and fix it like I just did. Yeah. And when you do it the other way, it's not that big of a deal. I keep covering my brightening over here too. So, that's the good part, guys. If you screw it up, it's totally fixable. And it looks excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this eye real fast. So I'm gonna take the black um, Shadow Sense, which is called Onyx, and do just like a half um, eyeliner. There you go. And then my eye looks way bigger. I quit, I was doing it on my bottom liner, but the mascara is so good at getting up there, I quit even doing it. I was like, ah, oh, that's a waste of time. I don't even need to do it because the mascara is gonna do it for me, so. Okay, do you see how the darker to lighter is definitely gonna make your eye look bigger compared to my eye over here? Makes my eye look more open, and this one looks a little droopy and a little sad. So I'm gonna fix that eye. This is like my favorite combo. I take blue-red, bright crazy red. I only wear this alone for like holidays. And I mean like Christmas, Valentine's Day. Christmas probably. You want that red, red lip. I'm a pink girl versus a red. But if you like the red, red lip, this is your deal. But this makes your color stay on even better. It is like the best base lip sense color I have found. I like one coat of this plus two coats of Purple Rain. It's like the perfect pink for me. So I'm gonna
Okay, y'all, Brecklin started acting crazy, so I finished this eye not on camera. But everything is on now, except for mascara, doing under scents, and then quickly doing mascara after. So we're doing one eye at a time. I did get a little flakage. I'm making up all kinds of words today. And this also, avoids you it. really don't have to wiggle down by the, um, by your eyelids. That dry as I go on my other eye with undersense. This stuff is like magical. What it does to your eyes is crazy. I really don't have to. I don't do any fancy wing look. I consider myself mom makeup. Like, this is my glam. This is as glam as I get. Multiple colors on my eyes. <laughs> because it does the job. I haven't been putting any on the bottom because I can get super close with the ma mascara. Now, if you were wanting to do a wing look, obviously, you would go ahead and put some on, but... you have not tried our lash scents, you absolutely need to. It's 100% guarantee. So if for some crazy reason you don't like it, send it back and we will give your money back. If you want to order any of our stuff, order. text to 405-351-1853. We will get you hooked up. I obviously do more here, so see how it looks like I have a little eyeliner on? Because I want my eyes to look more open. About just, oh, I did get my nose. Hey. What's up? Okay, girls, this is the full look with hair done. So this is what I'm going to call the ombre eye. Darker and it goes to lighter. It's three different colors. Full foundation. I love this look. 